Hello guys, it's Melissa Johnson, your Sensi Independent Consultant or Independent Sensi Consultant. And um, so I got in my shooting star kit, I got a scent flower or fragrance flower. Um, and this one happens to be um, the Darling Dahlia in the Luna scent. Um, so I just wanted to show you what they're like. Um, these are really great um, for, it's a great gift for anybody. Um, <clears throat> because, you know, like they're not like highly fragranced. So these are best um, like in a smaller area. Um, like I have a downstairs half bath and um, it does not, I don't know, <laughs> it does not have any plugs in it. Someday, I would love to invest and have um, someone put in electrical outlet or two in there. So it drives me crazy that there are no electrical outlets in there. But um, there's different scents, and so like, um, you know, like, depending. I guess they do really well, like, um, in a small space, so like a bathroom. Um, some people say like an office. You kind of have to be careful because some people are really sensitive to um, fragrances. Um, as I understand it, these aren't terribly um, concentrated. You know, it's like, it's not terribly like a heavy scent throw. So it's not gonna be in anyone's face. So I would say, honestly, like these might make great teacher's gifts um, because a teacher could put it on her on their desk and I don't know that it's gonna have a huge scent throw. Um, I don't know, at my office, I don't know if I would dare, <laughs> depending, like my, my old office anyway. Um, I don't know, some people, the dog is coughing. <laughs> some people are um, like really sensitive. She's super old, you guys, so whenever she jumps up on the couch, she coughs. <laughs> <laughs> Poor dog. Um, she's like got to be at least 16. <laughs> I swear. Um, but yeah, so just ignore her. I know it sounds terrible, but she does it like multiple times a day because <laughs> she's out here getting a drink and eating. So, and then as soon as she jumps up on the couch. <laughs> but um, it's going to come with your scent oil. And you see this one is scented in Luna. And then there's like this perforated... Um, place that you just um, take the plastic wrapping off. Now um, these are each handmade, um, so they're 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 delicate. Um, they're not like super fragile, but you know you want to be kind of careful. Also, Luna is in the floral category, but I don't find it to be very floral. I mean, I guess a little, but to me, it, the reason why, I mean, this is in our laundry stuff right now, currently when I'm filming this, um, it's a, I mean, it's a fan favorite, like pretty much most people really like Luna. Um, it's, it's like a real fruity floral, if, if it's floral. But I don't even, I think it's a little more fruity than floral. Um, I actually think it's, it's just so neutral, you guys. So many people are really gonna, so many people do already love this, but you could almost kind of put this in the um, fresh category slightly. I see why it's in the floral because I mean I guess it could be a really yummy like candy type perfume. Um, Perfectly Posh actually makes um, well they made like a a hand cream, um, a roller bottle perfume. I guess it was more like a body cream, um, a roller bottle perfume and like a mask that smells almost like this. And I would get compliments constantly. People would be like, and it was just lotion. Um, and people would be like, oh, what are you wearing? You smell so good. And it was almost similar. 
to, um, I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to describe, but I don't want to take forever describing it. But what you're going to do is just take off this black lid. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah. And it's got like this um, plastic topper, like this rubber kind of stopper. So you're going to take that off and then you're going to put on um, your, well, screw on the decorative um, piece. <laughs> I don't know. It's just like a decorative lid almost, but it's open so that the fragrance flower and we'll go through that. Um, and you're just going to screw that on. And then um, I need to let you know that um, anytime you alter um, a Scentsy product or do something you're not supposed to do, you, vo you void your warranty. I'm going to show you something fun with this. But um, if you do what I do, what I'm about to show you, you do void your warranty. Now this is only $16 and I'm okay with um, if something happens and it falls apart or um, like I know ahead of time that I'm voiding the warranty by doing something a little more fun. You can see my dog run by, sorry. She needs her nails clipped too. But um, so I know that I'm voiding the warranty, but normally you just take it out, put this in. It's meant to be like a neutral, um, a neutral thing put in a neutral space. Um, so it's meant to stay, she's gonna cough, sorry. <laughs> she does that, I don't know, old dogs. Um, but yeah, so it's meant, it's meant to stay exactly like this. So um, just know that if you do any coloring or anything fun with it, um, that, you know, you are avoiding the warranty. So these are handmade. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but yeah, so all you would do is normally just pop this wick. It's a cotton wick. You'd normally just pop this in. Now, um, right off the bat, it's going to like soak up mm, at least a third, maybe half of the oil. And then the rest of the oil is gonna disperse. Um, and these should last you up to two months. Um, and remember, it's not like, it's not like a room spray, it's not like wax. Um, so, I mean, it's not gonna be like, wow, you know, I really smell it. So definitely, you know, keep in mind that it's like a lighter fragranced item. It's gonna do, it's gonna perform a lot better in a smaller space. So, I want to color mine. <laughs> Um, knowing full well ahead of time that I'm voiding the warranty by doing that. Um, it's just something fun I wanted to try. Um, I've seen a lot of people do it, so I'm just going to take a Sharpie. My bathroom happens to be like a, almost like a burgundy mauve. Um, well, it's actually like a cream colored, um, wallpaper. And then it's got the mauve, the green, um, and then like the wood floors, the wood work and all that stuff. So I'm just going to use like a dark pink and I'm just going to color the tips of this flower. Um, I kind of want to do it so you can see what I'm doing. So yeah. And this could be like a fun project that you do with kids. Um, Probably the older the better because again you want to be kind of gentle with these because they are like hmm, a heavier paper but it's kind of like a paper material um, so you're going to want to be gentle uh, because they are kind of fragile you know you don't want to be like rubbing really hard or pulling at it or anything like that um, and people have like use like multiple colors so i mean you can get as crafty with this as you want to um but you know it should take about a good 24 hours for um the oil the oil to get soaked into the flower like up the wick and into the flower so um i just want to stress again that by doing this i am voiding the scentsy warranty so 
Um, I do know that. I'm okay with it. It was, I mean, it came in my kit and again, it was only like um, $16. It's not like a lot of money, but you know, these make great gifts. If you don't know what to get someone, if you know someone who is crafty, um, I don't know. I think it's so much fun and I cannot wait to see, um, what this is going to turn out like. I'm like really excited. <laughs> so. You know, you can, I don't know, get as, um, creative as you want to. Um, you know, you could, and I just an idea. Um, if you had a group of friends that you wanted to get together, um, you could all go in on, there's, these are like in a bundle and save. So you can get like, they're normally like $16. Um, I don't have a catalog like right here to look up how much the bundle and save is, but you can get three at like a discounted price. So um, you and some friends could get together you know, and purchase some of these and have like a coloring party. Um, like even like, um, even like a 16 year old birthday party. I think this would be like a lot of fun. Um, and I know like with COVID things are a little more difficult. So, I mean, you could even do like a zoom, um, a zoom party, coloring party with friends. Um, you know, even friends that live like far away, you know, and you just want to get together and hang out together. This is just, I think, a great idea. Um, I've seen people, once these um, dry up, they make craft products, well, craft projects out of them. <laughs> like one person added it to their um, little garden warmer that has like the succulents and stuff. They just added the dried flower in there. Um, I've seen people make wreaths with them, like the flowers that, you know, had the oil and they're dry. Um, so, I mean, there's a million things that you could do with these. Uh, you could almost, when the oil's all dried up, um, but they're still like colored. Um, you could even seriously make like a bridal bouquet. Um, you know, and like the months leading up to your wedding as you're preparing. I don't know, you and your bridesmaids at the beginning could get together, make these together um, using like the, your color scheme. And then, um, you know, months down the road when they're all dried up, there's no, you know, they're still slightly fragranced, uh, but they're dry. They're not like oily and stuff anymore. And you can make your bouquets together. I think that's a fun idea. Um, college kids. Uh, I know like sometimes for Thanksgiving, my daughter when she was in college couldn't come home. Um, well, actually even now, <laughs> cause she'd only have a couple days off and it's like, well, it is just Thanksgiving. So um, like this could be something that, you know, she has just a small apartment and this could be something that like my daughter could do to keep her occupied and for fun. Um, there's just a variety of ideas like, um, I don't know, your kid could color one for their teachers, like a teacher gift. Um, you know, your older kids could, you know, get together, um, color some of these for grandma. Uh oh, the dog got down again. <laughs> Ah, uh, figure she's always doing things. She kind of feels like she's like I have food because sometimes we eat dinner out here. So, um, well, lots of times I shouldn't say sometimes. So, like whenever I'm at the table, she sometimes thinks that she's gonna miss out on some food or something. Even though we don't really give her scraps, um, I don't know. Typical dog, I guess. <laughs> so funny. Like here's that coming along. So um, once the oil kind of soaks in, it should like really disperse throughout the flower and make like different colors and things. So 
I'm so anxious. I've never had one of these. It's always looked like so much fun. Um, and I just, you can always go on like Pinterest and get some ideas of the ways that people have colored them or um, maybe made some crafts with them. But um, yeah, like even like a sweet 16 party for your daughter, um, that's an idea. Um, I know my daughter would have loved the, of course I, I don't even know, like I'm just kind of new to Sensi, so um, I don't even know like when these came out. Um, but yeah, no two flowers are gonna look the same just because they are handmade. Um, so they're not gonna, they're not gonna be identical. And I kind of wanted to try, not just because it's the only one that they gave me. Um, <laughs> sorry guys. Like right there, I kind of, um, because the marker was kind of wet, I kind of like, um, that kind of came apart just a little bit. I did that. Um, so of course I wouldn't ever blame Sensi and be like, Hey, <laughs> I wouldn't anyway. Like <gasps> I know what I'm getting into. My apologies. Normally the dog is not that coughing. Like, <laughs> like because she's so old, she normally sleeps a lot. So she just seems to be a little more active because I'm out here talking and I think I, I, I don't think she can see as well as she used to because her one eye doesn't produce tears like it should so you have to put eye drops in them and um I don't know oh and there my cat thinks he's gonna join the video he always likes to walk in front no <sighs> sorry about the zoo <laughs> Here, I thought I could do this nice, fun, instructional video without my animals causing problems. I'm kind of surprised the bird is not, my parrot is not like, carrying on. <laughs> uh, now see like this little petal here, again, when I say that they're fragile, like um, it came apart. So that's why I think too, like older kids, um, are going to be better, better at this. Um, I know like the adult coloring books are kind of all the rage. So, um, definitely think this is like an older child, more adult type project. Like I would say maybe middle school. I don't know. Just depends on the, on the child, I guess. If, if they can be gentle. Um, you'll know your kids better um, so I don't want to specify like a certain age or anything crazy like that but, but yeah um, see I just did it with another petal so maybe like try a finer point sharpie uh, maybe the thicker point sharpie is, is a little too too much for the petals because again, they are just um, more heavy duty paper, but they still are just paper. So, I mean, I've seen people do it and they don't fall apart. So um, maybe this, maybe it's just the type of Sharpie that I'm trying to use here. And I don't know, I thought maybe the Dahlia would be a little bit stronger than the buttercup but I mean I guess experiment if this is something that um, you really would love to experiment with um, just experiment with the different types of the, the flowers too because um, I don't know if one is better than the other I know this has a lot more um, the, this flower isn't as large larger petals, I guess you could say. Um, like the buttercup bell is more like rounded feathers. This is more kind of like folded in um, square type petals, I guess. You see what I mean? So, um, 
I don't know. I might have to try this on like the Buttercup Bell and see if it's better. I don't know. <laughs> see, and I have Sharpie on my fingers now. Um, not that it hurts anything, but oh, there's the parrot. I cannot make a video without someone, one of my animals participating some way, somehow. <laughs> And you can hear my rats eating too. I have pet rats. They make amazing pets, by the way. Um, they're sweet. They're absolutely sweethearts. They remind me of like little little puppies or little um, bunnies almost. They're so cuddly. Like they like to hide. Kind of like my bird likes to hide in your hair when she's on your shoulder. Um, she likes to hide a lot. And so like the rats are kind of the same way. They kind of want to hide in your hair or in your shirt, or they just want to hide under a blanket and snuggle with you. They're so cute. And my, my rats are rescues. People didn't want them. So I took them because I've had rats in the past and everybody knows me as the girl that loves the little pet rats. So, um, do any of you have like unique pets? Like do share, um, you know, comment and let me know if you have some unique pets that people are like, oh wow, really? <laughs> Obviously the cat, the, the dog are normal. <laughs> Lots of people have those, but um, I don't know. Do you have like a rare breed of cat or dog? Mine are, well, the dog is a mixed breed. She's a cocker pug, cocker spaniel pug. Um, and the cat, he's just a little, he's just an orange cat. <laughs> so he's pretty normal. Uh, trying to go a little bit quicker. Without being too, <laughs> too um, rough, I'm trying to hurry because I don't want to make this a long video. But yeah, like share with me, like you know, what are what are your pets like? Um, I know a lot of people are like, oh wow, you have a parrot. She's just a little green conure, yellow sided green cheek conure. Um, got her when she was a baby. Um, she was bred in captivity. It's not like she was, you know, from another country and, I don't know, smuggled over or anything. She was captive bred. Um, so she was used to people, like, right off the bat. Um, I always wanted a parrot. I always wanted um, an African gray parrot, but they're so expensive. They live a lot longer. She, as a... Um, just because she's a little parrot, she only lives to be about 25, but like sometimes the African greys can live to be like, oh gosh, like a hundred, <laughs> hundred or so, like, but they talk. It's so cool. My daughter, um, is a zoologist and, um, so she had an African grey at their zoo. Um, they did have a sadly have a tragic fire um, and lost some of the birds um, due to the smoke. Um, they were rescued, but just not in time because birds are pretty sensitive, um, respiratory. Well, actually rats kind of are too. Um, so yeah, sadly the smoke got to most of the birds before they could rescue them, which was very sad. Um, they just had like a faulty wiring issue. So, um, in the reptile house, they had some birds in there and then like some reptiles. Um, yeah, that was pretty sad. It was on the news out where she's at there in Maryland. Um, yeah, so they haven't really rebuilt. The one snake I think was recovered. But the one, um, the fire started right near its cage. Um, and sadly that one didn't make it. 
um, the fire was just started too close to its enclosure and um, yeah that was sad <laughs> but you know that's some of the adventures I guess that you're gonna have like as a zoologist like you know things happen and um, so yeah she went to school for zoology so yeah like um but I mean college students these are great for like dorm rooms too because again that's a smaller space um I know like when Cassie was in college um her and her roommate didn't really have a very big room um so I mean this could have been they each had a desk one on each side of the room um like at the top of their beds and so Cassie could have had this and I doubt if they would have even smelled, you know, like her uh, roommate might not have even smelled it, like, unless she was like over by Cassie's desk or something, I don't know. Um, yeah, so that's just some ideas on like people you could gift it to. But like I said, just keep in mind that I am voiding the warranty by doing this. I just wanted to show you like, it could be a quick fun project, you know, that you do, you know, with your kids and you gift it to like a teacher, a, you know, grandparent, you know, Mother's Day, that's an idea um, of a gift for a mom. Um, and grandma, um, so like think Mother's Day, think, you know, wedding party, you know, and then uh, make your own bouquets with the dried flowers after, or just, um, just something you gift your bridesmaids um, to thank them for being in the, in the bridal party. And then, you know, you guys get together, color them, and then take them home. Um, you don't even have to make bouquets out of them it's just a thought um, but I mean it could just be part of the gift and hanging out together um, there's like a million different things you could do with these as gifts and so I'm pretty much done so yeah keep in mind I do notice the thick sharpie Maybe if I didn't cover color it quite as heavy um, it might not have um, torn a couple petals <laughs> but of course I'm in a hurry so I'm rushing too just because I wanted to make this into a video to show you you know like if you don't mind voiding the warranty and just do you know having fun or you have crafty people in your life and you know, you just want to do something fun and unique with it. Um, I just wanted to give you an idea of things to do, um, ways to spruce it up. So, you now my perfectionist OCD is kind of kicking in and I'm kind of coloring the backs of some of them. <laughs> so, because once you put it in the oil, um, you're, you're not going to want to um, touch it because it's going to be, you know, wet with the oil. So the papers are going to get wet. I hate to mess too much with the bottom. So I think we'll leave some of these, like the bottom ones alone. But yeah. So that's an idea, you know, something you could do um, as a way to kind of get together and hang out. Like even Zoom, like I was saying, like, you know, you and your friends go in together, buy some of these, and then just have a Zoom party together. Um, hopefully 2020 is going to be a better year <laughs> for all of us. But yeah, I think these make amazing gifts. You know, just know, even if you add food coloring to the water, it still voids your warranty any way that you alter 
um, a Scentsy product, it, you know, and don't use it properly, it's gonna void the warranty. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, so what I'm showing you is more for fun ideas. Um, it is not recommended by Scentsy by any means. Um, but I just, I love how creative people get with things. And I saw this and thought, oh my gosh, that looks like so much fun. So that's my flower. And again, I know it's voided the warranty, but you just then are gonna stick that in the oil. And then in about um, 24 hours, it should fully, the oil should fully soak into the flower and start to alter um, the color. So I think that's the coolest, most fun idea ever. And it smells amazing. So I'm anxious to see, you know, like if it does smell really nice um, in my bathroom and you know, so there, I hope that was fun. I hope that was helpful. Um, you know, like and comment and let me know what you think. Um, if this is something you would try or if you have some other ideas to share um, other than the ideas that I had. Um, but yeah, these make amazing gifts. Even just the simple ivory colored paper, paper flower, like these make amazing gifts for someone that you don't know what to get them. You know, this is an amazing gift. So thank you guys so much. Um, I hope Hope you enjoyed that and um, everyone have a fantastic day. Three, bye.